Welcome back to Bestie Bites. I'm Chantel. I'm Brienne. So we are finally back after vacationing and then quarantining. And now we're back to somewhat normal life until things get back to normal if they ever do. <laughs> so this week's review is on Hillside Country Club, um, their tiki bar. Um, we went to dinner there on Monday. So we're gonna get to reviewing and talking about our food. So before we go over our food, I just wanna go over the atmosphere a little bit. The tables were pretty sp spread apart. Um, we had to make reservations just to make sure that everyone is spaced out and not having to wait and whatever. Um, the employees were wearing masks and to get your menu, it wasn't a paper menu, so there's no cross-contamination. There was just a little barcode in the center of the table. So you just scan that and the menu comes right up. So everything was pretty clean. It looked like everything was nice and sanitized and prepped, but that was pretty much it for the restaurant aspect. So for drinks, we got, well, I got and Brie got um, <laughs> a flight of sangria and I believe the flavors were strawberry? Red, white, watermelon, and peach. Okay, I'm so I was sure. completely wrong. <laughs> One of them, the red tasted like strawberry though, so I'm pretty sure that had strawberry in it. They were really, really good. I <laughs> love sangria. I prefer white over red, but they were actually both really good and then the other two were also very good as well. Um, they were in small little cups and they were refreshing and it was really hot out so it just helped us cool down a little bit and enjoy the atmosphere a little bit more. And they were all very fruity which I felt was a nice touch for the summer mm -hmm. and all the cups were disposable to get rid of that cross contamination so yes. that was nice. <laughs> for dinner I got chicken Mozambique and it was very good, very tasty. The Mozambique sauce was kind of like Portuguese recipe-ish I'm assuming like <laughs> it was very similar to what I would have so at home. So basically garlicky. Yeah <laughs> there was a lot of garlic. The fries had a lot of salt they were super crispy. Um, my chicken was grilled um, it seems like on an actual grill and you could see the charcoal marks. Um, the rice was just regular white rice with garlic on top and the sauce over it and I liked it. I would have it again <laughs> for an American restaurant that was actually really good so I do prefer it from a Portuguese restaurant, Same. but like, that's kind of obvious. Yes. Mama's cooking before, is always but. best. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the, the fish and chips and they give you like a huge, like I'm not even exaggerating. It's lit, well, we'll, set, we'll show you guys pictures, it was but big. it was so big and it was like super crispy. The batter was definitely thicker than I'm used to when I have fish and chips, which isn't a good or a bad thing but um, it did make it a little bit more greasy, so I didn't feel so great after, <laughs> but it was very tasty. Um, it could have been a little bit more flaky versus kind of not mushy, but it just wasn't as flaky because it was fried in that thick batter, but it was really good, so don't <laughs> get me wrong with that. It looked good. <laughs> yeah, and we always had the same fries, but they put sea salt on them and they just are, I love the fries there. We go there all the time. They're so, so crispy. They're yeah. just good. So <laughs> it was yummy. And I also had, um, I don't know what kind of coleslaw it was, but it kind of had a kick. It almost yes, tasted it was like- so good. Yeah, I think it had like chipotle or something in it. I don't know, but it was really good. So it looked good and then I had to try it. So <laughs> I love coleslaw. <laughs> yeah. And then my fiance got the thin crust pizza. They have a bunch of thin crust pizzas. They're so good. He's a child, so he got pepperoni, but <laughs> If you go there, try some of their other Basic. pizza. Yeah. <laughs> but he really liked that. So overall, we had a pretty good experience. Very good. <laughs> so my rating for the overall experience, drinks, food, blah, 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 is going to be an eight. I We go there all the time, and it's usually a really awesome experience. Usually they have um, music and stuff. Well, not usually. I think like once a week, they have different things going on. Um, so it's always a really nice experience there. Um, the drinks are always really good and that sangria flight was such a good idea. That's why we decided to go that day because mm -hmm. we saw it on social media and we're like, oh my God, we need this like right now. <laughs> and the fish was really good. Um, it's bigger than any fish I've ever got when I get fish and chips. So I was happy with that. Um, like I said, it did make me feel a little sick after, but that's gonna happen anytime <laughs> you have fried food. So that's why I gave it an eight. <laughs> That's a good rating. 
Um, I'm actually going to rate mine in 8.4. Um, I love sitting outdoors. I love the whole like sitting outside near a golf course mm -hmm. or like just in like a little bar area and just having something, you know, quick to eat, a drink. Their uh, menu is very limited. So for a place like that, it actually works out perfect. So that's why I rated it an 8.4 and their food was good. We go there multiple times. The menu is always changing. So mm -hmm. I was actually really happy. I think this was the first time they've had chicken Mozambique on their menu for outdoor, outdoor seating. because I've never seen it for outdoor seating before. Um, the sangria was so good. I would definitely go there again just to sit outside and listen to music and have that flight of sangria because it was delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we definitely highly recommend going to Hillside. You can play golf during the day, get some dinner and drinks afterwards. Um, in the winter, they open up their restaurant called La Colina. Um, they have a pool for the kids, obviously not right now, but once the whole COVID situation is gone. Mm -hmm. They have volleyball, they have a place for events, a spa. They literally have everything you need. So definitely check them out, you'll be happy. <laughs> That's right, just make sure you make a reservation beforehand and you yeah, should be good, good to go. Yep. <laughs> don't forget to try the sangria flight. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it lasts, so run Definitely like right now <laughs> like walk out your door and run there right now and call for reservations on the way <laughs> all right bestie bites people make sure you like and subscribe to this video and like our pages on facebook and instagram we'll follow our page on instagram and like and follow yeah like for that. facebook follow for instagram <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can message us whenever let us know restaurants that you guys want us to try mm -hmm. Uh, restaurants that you guys have tried but want us to review maybe try what you had and see how we feel about it so just stay tuned for next week's video bye have guys. a good one <laughs> stay safe <laughs>